You know, a lot of us, myself included, we're very concerned about our health and wellness. And we pay particular attention to the nutrition that we eat. And, and most importantly, protein. Protein is the building blocks of our body, the building blocks of muscle. We all need protein in order to survive. And many of us, many of you, myself included, we're looking for alternative protein sources rather than the traditional meat, poultry, eggs. So I'm reviewing right now a choice that I use. This is a raw protein from Garden of Life. So this is the chocolate Garden of Life protein. It also comes in vanilla and it also comes in the plain flavor. So let me tell you right now what makes this product so special. Okay, A number one, it's raw. That means it's filled with enzymes and these enzymes are necessary for our body for certain processes to take place. And raw means that the, the, the ingredients inside have not been heated over 108 to 112 degrees. Second thing, it's vegan. It's organic. It is non-GMO. Every ingredient in here is non-GMO. Non-dairy, no dairy products in here, no artificial flavorings, no artificial colors. I mean, it is as clean and as pure as you can get. And what I love about this as well is that there are one million living probiotics within each serving. What that's good for is your digestive tract. Now, I'm actually taking some out of the container. I want to show you what it looks like. Powder, obviously, powder form. This is the chocolate, so you can see what it looks like, okay? Now, this is made of 12 sprouted grains. It's an alternative to traditional protein sources. Believe it or not, grains such as millet and quinoa and, um, and flax, I mean, the list goes on and on. When you combine them together, you get a tremendous amount of protein. In fact, there are 18 grams of protein and 90 calories with every one scoop serving. Not a lot of calories, a lot of bang for your buck, a lot of nutrition for each scoop. I mean, that's very, very important, very important. Now, another thing I'd like to say is that when you're looking at, you know, a protein source, when you're looking at something as, as phenomenal as this, you want to make sure that everything that's inside, okay, you get a broad spectrum. Now, what I mean by that is the following. There are a lot of protein sources out there that utilize just one source. Because you're looking at 12 individual grains, and I, hold on, okay, I'll put them on, and I'm going to read them for you, okay? I just, you know, kind of get funny about my glasses. <sighs> okay. So let me read to you the grains that are in here. So we have um, organic sprouted brown rice. We're looking at uh, chlorella, organic Swiss brown mushroom, organic amaranth sprouts, organic quinoa, organic millet, buck, organic buckwheat. Oh, it goes on and on. Organic garbanzo, organic sunflower, organic lentil, organic azuki, organic flax, organic sesame. You see what I'm saying? The list goes on and on and on. Because it is a broad spectrum, like your body responds to that really well and it takes it in. And the fact that it's raw, it's really bioavailable and your body takes it in and it absorbs the nutrients. It's like every cell in your body just sucks up the nutrients. And that's one reason why I love this so much. Okay, so I'm going to tell you something else about this. Um, the taste. I actually bump mine up with organic cocoa. So I buy some organic cocoa and I put about two teaspoons inside my drink, my shake in the morning. Because uh, the, the taste itself can be a little bit getting used to because it's not filled with sugars and it's not filled with additives and it's not got this and it's not got that. You're looking at real food. So there is a little bit of sacrifice on the taste but it's something that I believe that you're going to be able to get used to. Hey, look, if I can get used to the taste, you can get used to it. I mean, it's really got kind of a, an earthy, um, basic, raw taste. And, and the benefits of this far out so pass, you know, maybe, you know, the lack of tr a tremendous amount of sweeteners or flavors, which, you know, is fine with me. So if you're looking for a fabulous protein, alternative that's easy to use one scoop mixed with water shake it up in a shaker bottle if you want a smoother consistency put it in like a I don't know like a Vitamix or a handheld blender 
maybe a Wolfgang Puck handheld blender. Uh, another idea that you might want to use and consider is mixing it with almond milk because the almond milk is going to bump up the taste a little bit and give it a bit more of a thicker consistency. You can always throw in some blueberries, throw in some bananas. Me, I like it raw. I like it basic with just a little bit of cocoa. So Garden of Life Protein, you can get it on Amazon. Uh, you can get it at Whole Foods, you can get it at Mother's, you can get it at other health food stores, other online shops, but try it. I think you're really going to enjoy this.